Hey, welcome to today's technology tip. So on today's technology tip, I'm going to explain to you what cloud storage is. I'm going to explain Google Drive and iCloud and why you need them, why they're important, right? So Google Drive and iCloud, what happened is Google and Apple set up server farms all over the United States. And when I say a server farm, picture a building full of computers. And whenever you take a picture on your iPhone, if you're using iCloud, they store that image in their server farm so you never lose it, right? So, I mean, you may have a child, say they're five years old, and you're taking pictures of them. And in 10 years, you want to still have those images. And so the way that Google Drive and iCloud work is you have your phone, you have your iPad, or you have your computer. Well, 30 years ago, 20 years ago, if you took that image on your phone, it was stored only on your phone. And you might drop your phone into a puddle and ruin it. Or drop, say you go boating, you go to Pickwick and you go boating, and you drop your phone into the water and you lose it forever. Well, that image would be lost forever as well. And so what Google Drive and what iCloud have done is what they call the cloud, right? It's not really a cloud. What it is is server farms all over the United States and it leverages the internet speeds. So when you take that picture, if you're paying for Google Drive or iCloud, it stores that image on their, on their computers so that you don't have to have it on your phone all the time, right? So let me walk you through the pricing of Google Drive and iCloud. So here I am on Google Drive, and you can see that it allows you to store files, it allows you to store images, it allows you to store videos. You can see it from any device. You can see it from your phone, your tablet, or your computer. You can share it with anybody, which is awesome. All right, so now let's look at pricing. So the way Google does their pricing is they have some tiers. So the tier that most people would be interested in is two terabits of storage for $99 a year, which is very cheap. Now, I think they do a monthly plan that costs $10 a month, but this is an extremely good deal. Right. So if you were to sign up for storage with Google Drive and store all your images from your phone, your iPad or your computer, two terabits is plenty of space for most people. Right. Power users may not need it, but most people, two terabits is going to do is going to is going to be plenty for you. Right. And that pricing ninety nine dollars a year or nine ninety nine a month is a great price. It gives you peace of mind. You take a picture and in 10 years, you know, you will not lose that photo. Right. Let me show you iCloud's pricing. So iCloud is a little bit different the way they price it in the United States. So what they do is they say, OK, we're going to give you 50 gigs of storage for 99 cents per month. 50 gigs of storage is a good amount of storage. And for 99 cents, it's a bargain. I mean, think about it. You lose 99 cents in the floorboard of your car per month. So that's a I see a lot of people who come to me and they ask, you know, Google, I mean, Apple is saying on my phone, my iPhone, that I need more iCloud storage. Are they just trying to get my money? And what Apple's doing there is they're trying to protect you. They don't want you to lose your contacts. They don't want you to lose your photos. They don't want you to lose your videos. And so they built iCloud storage in there and 50 gigs a month, I mean, 50 gigs for 99 cents a month is kind of their lowest plan that allows you to save your contacts, save your photos. It's a bargain, right? Now, their next pricing structure is 200 gigs for $3 a month and then two terabits for $10 a month. What I would tell you is every one of these pricing plans is a bargain. And the more content you have, the more storage you need. Okay, so 50 gigs is 99 cents. Well, 1,000 gigs is one terabit. So when they have two terabits, what they're saying to you there is you can get 2,000 gigs for $10 a month. So what I would encourage you to do is have a storage plan for all your data. How are you going to keep important documents? How are you going to keep important pictures? What's your plan for if you drop your phone into a lake, are you going to lose everything that's on it? Or are you going to have it backed up into the cloud? The cloud is safe and Apple and Google spend tons of money to keep it secure. So I hope that helps. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.